The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. Well, I got some information for you. And before everybody gets <clears throat> completely and totally bent out of shape, let me do some explaining. I told y'all I was into the truth and nothing but the truth. And I found some truth. But I also found a loophole that uh, is ruining some people's lives. Okay? Now, last night, I did an experiment. And uh, I'm not the only one that done it. Me and Dutch both done this experiment. Because we were tired of this timestamp thing on different blogs and different places. Well, I went into one of my old blogs, February 4th. It was a Ron Paul blog. And it, had, it was talking about Ron Paul. Well, I changed it to the truth about Sandy Hook and the lies, my latest one. I changed the date, and I changed the URL. Well, when I got through changing the URL and that, it made the blog, and it posted it. Well, come to find out, which you're going to see Photoshop, you're going to see photos of all of this happening as I'm talking. I can't do both at the same time today. I can't show you a point to things, so you're just going to have to pay attention to the screen or watch it twice. But I did this mainly to, I wanted to see if you could change it, okay? And the only way to do that is to have your own blog and do it. I'm not saying what I what I am saying is it can be changed on your blog. Why? I do not know. I don't know why they're allowing this to happen. First off, in my personal opinion, it seems like that that would be totally unconstitutional, well, not unconstitutional, but uh, pretty much against the law to do. Because the reason why I say it's against the law is because people have gotten put in jail for time stamps. They've also got out of going to jail because of time stamps. And if that's the case, then all of these time stamps are totally totally wrong. The people that have went to jail for a time stamp, well, were you set up or were you not set up? Uh, the ones of you that uh, got off, did you figure out some way to, to rig the time stamp or did you not? So there's a great big loophole here, people. A very, very big loophole that needs to be really badly investigated. Now, we've done a lot of digging to find this loophole because, in my personal opinion, I didn't think you could do it. And I still, I'm still a little shocked that you can. I was shocked the video would allow you to change the video. And then I was very shocked when Twitter changed. And now... I didn't tweet this because I don't want it to go anywhere other than where it's at. But I do know that Google, now this is a Google timestamp, it literally shows February the 4th, 2012, which is a whole year or almost a whole year prior to the event happening. Now, I've done it as a test, okay? If you go and click on that link, it'll say, this is all a lie. And the reason why I put that on there is so people would know that this is a lie. So, with that, there was something else that came out last night. I can't prove it. I haven't done the research on it yet. But it's going around the Internet that Adam Sandler, according to his death records, that they got published 
on the death record site as he died on the 13th. Now, don't know how this is. Maybe it's a type of error. I don't know. I'm going to give you a clean screen, screenshot at the end, which this is going to be at the end. I'm going to show you the screenshot of that that uh, I've seen on the Internet, and it's on my Facebook. And I'll leave a link in the below section so you can actually see the video. So with that, folks, I don't know, but the investigation, this is still an investigation. So understand what I'm telling you is it's not that we're not debunking anything. It's that we're finding out truth about stuff that we didn't know and nobody else did either. Okay? So much love to y'all. And there's still stuff out there that's still true. It's just this is another one that's just been debunked. Okay? So much love to y'all. Y'all have a great day. If there's a blue pill and a red pill, and the blue pill is half the price of the red pill and works just as well, why not pay half price?